it gives me an opportunity not only to work within my discipline and mentor students as uh, they matriculate through their graduate programs, but my passion always has always been about the students. That's the reason I became a, a faculty member. Uh, and so this gives me new opportunities to think creatively and how we support our students, how we continue to encourage them. Melissa and I will share a lot of the same ideas in terms of recruitment, retention, and matriculation but I will work with the undergraduate students on making sure they have the requisite backgrounds to be successful in the undergraduate uh, curriculum so that Melissa and I can have a natural bridge from the undergraduate to the graduate programs. The peer mentoring that's gonna happen at the graduate level starting in the fall, uh, I think is gonna be a great opportunity. Um, you know, depending on how much that we can do in person versus virtually, we're gonna, we're gonna manage that how best we can but I look forward to creating these diverse groups. And as I, as I mentioned earlier, you know, having those conversations, I think those will be great opportunities. We want to instill in our students the expectation of excellence up front. We want them to be excellent, but at the same time, we have to hold each other accountable. If the student is having challenges, we want to be able to support that student and the student be able to come to us. And so we want to make sure that everybody has a healthy and robust Clemson CCAS experience. We want people to feel welcome and we want people to welcome other, other people, other diverse groups. Changing minds and hearts is the key component to changing the, the culture and the environment to make it more inclusive. Um, so getting people engaged in conversation, getting people engaged in listening to, to one another, uh, to better understand you know, where each other comes from and, you know, what their feelings are, I think is important. We will definitely still maintain the conversations. The Zoom meetings have been great. Uh, just be able to communicate over the miles, uh, even during the, the quarantine. That does not stop. The educational process doesn't stop just because the buildings are closed. So we want to continue to mentor the students, want to continue to encourage them, and we will get through this. We both have some very creative ideas and uh, I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be a wonderful journey.